right, I'm back at the uh, root cellar dig. And uh, it's about 90 degrees today, it's April 9th. Really hot. And uh, so it's getting hot early. I think, uh, what was it, February 15th, we had that six degree freeze. Two months later, it's super hot. And it's probably not gonna change too much as we head into the summer. Might get a little cooler, but not too much. Uh, anyway, I got my dirt cart here that I kind of fixed. I put in a new bolt underneath because it got all bent up when I flipped it. Uh, so anyway, that's uh, kind of fixed. It's enough for me to be able to use it here down and uh, put dirt in here. Again, the reason I'm doing this is because my mini excavator arm can't go deep enough to get this far down. So I'm using uh, just a regular shovel to dig a little deeper and widen it out a little bit along here. I'm using the uh, jackhammer spade, the clay spade, to get along the edges and kind of clean that up. I might actually want to widen this a little more so anyway, I'm going to start shoveling. It is really slippery right here. What we're planning to do is tie a rope or something, metal, metal line, and get my ATV and try to pull it up. We'll see how easy or hard that is. All right, so my uh, ATV is uh, stalling out when I'm when I start it up. About five seconds later, it stalls out. And I'm wondering if it's the uh, the idle control, and I, I'm wondering if this is the idle control right here. I'm not sure or not, but I'm gonna put a screwdriver to it and see if I can get the idle a little higher so that it doesn't uh, stall out on me. this in a little bit. I guess that's the idle control. Yeah, now it's not uh, stalling out on me. Put a quick fix. This kind of wound this, uh, this heavy gauge wire to the uh, trailer hitch. And I'll hook the other side up to the uh, dirt cart down here. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this is heavy duty wire to work with. Okay. We're going to find out whether this wire works or not. See if that works if I just put it right on top.
All right, today I'm going to uh, see if I can get my 110 volt outlet working on the generator. Yesterday it didn't work uh, when I was using the jackhammer. Uh, I tried uh, to start up the jackhammer and it wouldn't start at all. And then I checked everything and now the 110 worked. Uh, and I checked all the breakers and everything. And uh, so now I'm gonna try flashing the generator and see if I can get, the generator runs, but it's not putting out the 110 volt. It puts out the 220, which is interesting, but it doesn't put out the 110. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to use this to get the, uh, I don't know if it's the capacitor, um, but to get a little bit of that energy flowing, I'm gonna be doing this in reverse when I plug this into the generator, into the 110 outlet. Well, that didn't work. So very well could be that it's uh, some component inside, like a capacitor, that is not uh, working anymore. But again, the 220 works, but the 110 doesn't. I can't get the uh, 110 volt to work on my generator, so I'm gonna go to my smaller generator and see if that works. It's also a dual fuel generator, and uh, I'm gonna use a propane on it also. Another hot one. I get a little shade from the uh, pit here, which is kind of nice. It's a little cooler down here in the shade than it is up on top. Here's your clay right here. See how this is dry crumbles? Just dry. You can't stick a shovel in it until you get deeper. Once you get to about five and a half feet, you get kind of this semi-moist clay, easy to work with. There's stuff on the side, this is dry crumbles. All right, so I had a wire on my, my dirt cart, which then I hooked up to the uh, ATV over here. And uh, yesterday, or not yesterday, but the day, the day before that, the wire snapped and uh, I got a kink in it and snapped and I decided that's not the way to go. So um, I did get some chain. Chain's pretty expensive. I went over to Tractor Supply Store and got some chain and it cost $329 a foot and I got 40 feet of it. So I need a chain anyway. I wanted to have some chain for other things. Uh, but I got 40 feet of this chain, I forgot what size it is, but I'll show it to you. This stuff right here. It has 2,600 pounds of strength, and uh, so that's plenty enough for anything I'm going to be doing. And I got a little clip here uh, that I added onto it for eight bucks. And so I can clip it onto the ATV and I can clip it onto the uh, dump cart there and haul it out of the hole. And that's the whole reason for doing this is that I need to haul the dirt cart out of the hole. And so that's what I'm going to continue to do today. So here I go.
I thought Christian caught a lizard uh, because there's a lizard in the bucket here. And Christian said, no, nah, I didn't catch it. So apparently the lizard got stuck in here. And there it is. You can see there. He got stuck in the, I don't know how that happened because uh, it's in the container and we get the con we keep the container locked. So maybe I just, it just got in there when we opened it today. Magic don't touch him, don't touch him. Don't keep him in there. Why? Yeah, well, I'm just gonna get him. Well, look, look, don't, don't. What? Oh God. There he is. You see him? All right, go bite me. There he is. You got yeah, trapped. Going back in the bucket, Dad. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> How? So what kind of lizard is it, Christian? I don't know. Oh Dude, come on. It looks like a fence lizard. It's like maybe a Texas uh, horn toad or something. Horn. Uh, no, look. Horn lizard. I'll show you. What is it? It is. Texas fence lizard. Yeah. Texas spiny what? Take his fence lizard or spiny lizard. They said it right there. Right there. Take the spiny lizard. That's what it they is. get pretty big. Look. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I don't know if he's a disease or something. Well, it's that time of year. It's uh, going on late April, and uh, the uh, cactus are now flowering. And uh, you can see right here. It really has a pretty color to the flowers look at that all right here's Christian working hard trying to get the edges oh, you're getting deep Okay, I did four loads today. And I got that kind of leveled out down there. And so this is what it looks like if you're at the bottom. So I would say that we are at six and a half feet to the ground level. Maybe seven. But anyway, I leveled this area off here, down here. But there's obviously all this the slopes up that all that dirt has to come out so that's for another day <clears throat> this is a good workout i can tell you that it's a cool day today well relatively right now it's probably about 65 degrees pretty nice all right so that ends another episode of my digging saga i promise this hole will be finished in the near future and that'll allow me to begin the earth bag phase seems like everything takes longer than anticipated especially when it's just me and my son. I really don't mind the digging though, it keeps me fit and burns off the enchiladas that I love to eat. Stay tuned because I release videos every week to show my progress. Until then, take care and I'll see you on the next video.